Howdy, partner. You're listening to the High Noon Podcast. Your host, Mason Smith. All right, yeehaw, motherfuckers. Welcome to another episode of High Noon. I got my trusted sidekick, my co host, fucking Nicholas the Pack. I hate it. <laughs> There's nothing about that I enjoy. <laughs> Got first time guest, John Carden, everybody. After that last time. This yeah. is the last time. <laughs> well, you can't Fuck leave it. You gotta, you gotta run down the ring and help John Cena? <laughs> yeah, dude, we're coming. That's his sidekick music right there. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. And then your little <laughs> shitty Nicholas of Agli. Hey, man. I love it. Hey, don't I play it on, they play hey, on stage when they go on the Vulcan. Hey, don't don't don't, don't <laughs> Hey, don't act like you're not impressed. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not even remotely. Uh, I've got auto tunes in a couple hours. I can figure some shit out too. I mean, I didn't make that. Like, oh god, yeah, that's that's fan, even worse. Fan, you paid no, for it. Somebody made it for me. They made it for you. Yeah, they made it for me. I was like, all right, cool things. Um, My buddy Eric, like, he's like, hey, I made this. Like, so, right. so like it just and now you're no like, file. when he gave you that, you're like, boy, this is getting used. Uh, yeah, might as well use it. You're uh, like, yeah, dog, you just gave me my first box of condoms. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's really neat. I'm almost done with that box. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I still got a box because I don't use condoms. I've got too many kids to claim that I use condoms. Oh, you have that's kids? Fine. Yeah. How many? I got three. Are they around? Yeah. He's a oh, you guy. have them. Yeah, I'm like a dad. I'm a whole ass dad, dude. <laughs> I told, never met, I told my ex wife because I just went on a trip with my ex wife and uh, and we had a little divorce party. I signed the papers. And uh, <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't just you can't walk over that one. <laughs> you can't just stroll past. I went on a fucking divorce trip with my ex. Did y'all bang? It only once. Fucking prude. Y'all, y'all banged once? Yeah. <laughs> but and you it should have been more You can't call her a prude. A... No, fuck that. You can't call her a prude. She banged you once. It's I mean, I'm saying. It that's the been thing. A bunch. It should have the... been more. No, it should have been once. It should have been a fuck that, fest. What, why do you want a fuck fest when you're leaving? Because she's hot. No, fuck that. Punch your time card and get the hell out the door. No, you, but this is the You thing. fucking did your nine to five, dog. We've been separated for over a year, and I just never signed the papers until now. Yeah. So you this drug was... your feet. It yeah, because I just didn't want to take the this time was, to go like, sign them. This was her plan to get Mason to sign the papers. Like, hey, let's uh, go on a also, trip to Also, we've San been Diego. talking a lot. When I quit, That's funny. She I, gave you a treat. No, yeah, I, she gave you a treat. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, be a good boy, sign the divorce papers. <laughs> oh, fuck I'll, yeah. we'll go I'll take you. We'll I'll take you to Maui. Oh, where'd you guys go? San Diego. San Diego. Oh, fucking but yeah, it, white it, trash it was, Maui. It, 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 Hey, we were stayed right on the on the in OB, right on the water. She the pier was, nice. It was. I helped pay for it. <laughs> so you helped it. you helped pay for your own fucking treat. Well, see, for here's the thing. You, you get made it a year, and then you went. What the point? What's the point but of that? Here's the thing. It wasn't necessarily. It wasn't random or anything. Like we were not talking good until I I quit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in October, I did sober October, and I quit drinking. And when I quit drinking, things just I started being nicer, and and like we just started talking more, and then we like fell in love again, and like yeah, now we have good, we're in a good situation. I'm trying to get her pregnant, but she won't let me. Hold on. So you guys got back together? We're not back together. No. Well, then what? We just got separated. We're just being friendly. We're just friendly together. We're soulmates. You know what I mean? We're, no. so, we're soulmates. I, I, no, I don't. I'm, I'm trying I, to get this. I want to give her a kid because she wants one but doesn't want to have to find a new guy. And so I was like, why would you do interceptional Venus whatever and <laughs> instead of letting me just... <laughs> okay, put, put what, did you, what did you think it was called again? Interceptional Venus or <laughs> something... Interceptional Houston, Venus. Houston, can we get this woman pregnant? Uh, we got an international Venus. Uh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we have a name for this podcast. We have a title right here. Um, interceptional Venus. Uh, Venus. That, that I think we just go ahead and stick with that. Um, yeah. Artificial, artificial insemination. Interceptional. This is. I feel like I'm trying to explain Planned Parenthood to my drunk uncle. 
is my co-host. Oh this man, is my friend. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> instead of let me let me decipher for the non-white trash folks that are going to watch this, and I'm assuming there's not going to be many. Um, <laughs> let me just go ahead. So what you're saying is is that you would like to artificially, and instead of doing artificial insemination, you would like to do a live version yeah. of that, okay? And get her pregnant. And get her pregnant. And but let then, her have that. Do you want to pay child support? <laughs> no. No, I'm he's just, like, I'm going to let her have I'm, I'm going to come, I'll be like, you're welcome. You just, then, want, you just want her then, to Simba her kid, and you fucking exit stage left? I'll be around, like, okay. later. The She's kids, like, ah, Savanya, and you just fucking peace. A baby, I did it. A, baby doesn't, a baby doesn't need a dad for like five years. I don't know where you're so getting like, that information, Doc. Like, I mean, my, you know, I'll show up when it can make memories. I I don't I don't think you know the whole personality is formed from like zero to three. They don't zero to three is like the most important part. Is it? And yeah, you're just gonna show up after everything. Yeah, he's a dad. Listen to him. Oh, that's right. You are some dad. Fatherly advice. Yeah, I've done it three. I was a stay-at-home dad. <laughs> like, I was the whole. I was like the real uh, deal. Now I remember you talking about that. Yeah, Doc. So, you just, I, I, that's what I'm, I'm asking. How old are your kids? 12, 10, and 8. Oh, they're... Oh, they're so people. they're alive. They yeah. made it, dog. I know I'm good at this. <sighs> Even if I'm not good, they made it. Yeah, yeah you did your job. But now <laughs> you could leave. Well, the, the little one, there's still there's still a chance, man. What, what's wrong with that I don't know if he's going to make it to 18. He's reckless, dog. Really? <laughs> yeah, he's fucking reckless. Do he broke can... my back. Broke your Wait, back? Well, Legitimately. You, is he fat? No, he's not fat. He's got fucking elbows made of diamond. Oh. <laughs> um... I was laying down on the couch, uh, belly down, ass up, bitch position. And he came at flying elbow, boom, <laughs> right on the back. On purpose? I had to go to the fucking hospital. Oh, my God. Yeah, and they had a compound process fracture of my L2. Yeah. Yeah. I broke my L1, 2, and 3. I had and, a fusion. But here's the thing. It's like I had to think about it the whole way home. I'm like, do I fucking tell him? Oh, because it hurt his feelings. No, no I didn't. No, 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 no. Then no, no. Know, like, I can hurt dad. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm the man. Exactly, the dog. Man. He kicked your ass. Dog, he's going to get out of that bed like Conor McGregor in the morning, bro. Yeah. Fucking arms waving. I'm going to be like, yo, you, you take can't... out the trash. Bitch. Yep. I was like, you can't have Fruit Loops. He's like, I can't have what? Yeah. <laughs> you remember this? You remember that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Fucking elbow? Kids, cool. kids are great, but they can suck. Hey, uh, do they cuss? My kids? No, yeah. I don't even cuss really around my kids much. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because some people, you know, take the perspective of, I'm just going to cuss. And mm-hmm. we, No, I mean, I, I grew up in a trailer, dog. Fucking. Yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> usually the perspective. Everybody <laughs> cussed around me constantly. And my right. great my great grandmother, she had the worst mouth of anybody in the really? family. Yeah, because she grew up in uh, Norfolk, Virginia, right next to the Navy base. Oh. Her dad was in the Navy. Her ex-husband was in the Navy. Her second husband was in the Navy. She cussed like a sailor. She fucking, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And she was like 400 pounds, so she didn't do anything but like sit in her chair at the table. She was like, what's eating Gilbert Grape? Straight up. She she just ate crab legs and talked shit. That's all she did. (laughs) She ate a lot of crab legs, Did you grow up in Norfolk, Virginia, too? Uh, I spent like a summer there until my mom met her third husband, and then I was working on tobacco farm. My mom's on her third, too. Shout oh, out, shout out, Janice. My mom hit her third in the 90s. Um, <laughs> the fuck you mean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> my mom's still yeah. trucking. That's so funny. How many has she had? Wait, uh, yeah, you know. said I it like there's on. more. Yeah, I think she, I think six. No, uh That's crazy. Dude, I think my mom would remarry if she got rid of her husband. Yeah, they don't, no one wants to be alone. <laughs> I just don't think you have to marry them, though. You know I know, I mean? but that's like a thing. They'll that's why married. people are doing the interceptional vagine. <laughs> yeah. The Venus thing is so they don't have to be alone. <laughs> the interceptional Venus keeps people from being alone. Oh, that's right. Interceptional Venus. Um, it's a new procedure. That's amazing. Oh, uh, was Can't your... Can't wait uh, to clip it. Was your... <laughs> We got a so, whole, we got a bunch of clips that are all just titled "Mason is dumb as fuck." <laughs> I mean, Jesus. So, uh, was your was your dad around or no? Yeah, I mean, I would see him on the weekends. Yeah, I'm same. Yeah. yeah, he was. Uh, he was. He was great. My dad was awesome, man. He was six nine, uh, three hundred pounds. Wow, just a yeah, big huge fucking man. dude, teddy bear. Did huge uh, dude. How, how old are you? I'm 35. Okay, so you'll Me probably too. be. If I got, I got a question for you. I like. This is how I know if I really like someone. You ever, are you a fan of the movie Waterworld? 
I don't. Here's, I got so much to say about this. <laughs> but are you a fan? That's the no. That's I, the yes, first it's, it's not. No. Hold on. It's not whether I'm a fan. <laughs> no. It's it's why is this the crux? Why is this? <laughs> No, no, Why no, is no. this the be all end all to our friendship? Is a fucking <laughs> shitty Kevin Costner movie from '96 well, or '7? Uh, enough said. No, hold on. That's a great. Hold on. It's Mad Max. Oh, in you the mean water. you mean yeah? When Dennis Hopper's throwing cigarettes to the legions yeah. of people, <laughs> yeah, oh, it's it. just he, fucking he, trailer. They just emptied trailer parks for those fucking exactly extras. That's did. all it was. And they really, that's what they paid them was in cigarettes. Yeah, they were just like, hey, Dennis Hopper's gonna throw you your payment during the and scene, they're, and they're driving in a car with no tires. <laughs> yeah, just and they're him. they're just like, yeah, yeah. And the kid party goes, on, brother. I like when he goes in. He gives that little girl a cigarette. He goes, nothing. No, no one needs to smoke. Like when you miss your mom. <laughs> yeah, Nothing like a cigarette when you miss your mom. <laughs> Man. I don't know. I enjoyed it. That movie rules. But I like Costner. That's a great movie. I like The Postman, too. That one was cool. No, nah, it's too slow and boring. I liked it. What's your favorite Costner movie? <laughs> Waterworld. For me, it's Robin Hood. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Robin Hood was my. Was in that. No, that's, no, that's Men in Tights. You're thinking of Men in Tights. The Heads Carry You is a different movie. <laughs> totally. That's Mel Brooks. I feel like 80% of this podcast is going to be us correcting my... <laughs> oh, it's, usually it's 85 so, I mean, if it's 80, we'll take it. But, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, but the reason I brought up Waterworld... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a point? <laughs> Was That's that scarier than there being a fucking reason that I need to like the goddamn movie. <laughs> like, wait, there's a fucking point to this? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. So it's because my dad was a divorcee like yours. <laughs> and and I saw him every other weekend. And when I would go, it was when VHSs were still big. And uh, Waterworld was one of the movies of like seven of them. This is getting sadder. There was one. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting sadder I, by the second. I remember when my dad got his first DVD player. I, and I got uh, wa- the Water Boy, and then he showed me Tombstone. <laughs> my dad called Please me. Please don't tell me you think Water Boy is a sequel to Waterworld. <laughs> it's, after they, it's, it's after they found the land. This is the way you said it. <laughs> you were like, they got Water Boy. <laughs> It wasn't just Water Boy, it was Water Boy. <laughs> it was like an inflection there. Because then you were like, and then I got the Water Boy. <laughs> like, yeah, you definitely had inflection. Yeah, and then and then uh, uh, Larry the Cable Guy introduced me to the word Waterhead. And then my dad called me that for years. He, in the winter, he said he wanted to name, he said he wished he would have named me Get Wood. Because I needed to get more wood for the fire. That's clever. He'd say, boy, get wood. No, that's what I meant to say. (laughs) Did your dad like you? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, we got an optional title. Uh, Running second title, just idea, just brainstorm it, throw it at the board here. Hey. Uh, Did your dad like you? (laughs) And here's the sincerity. That's the hardest part, is the sincerity in which you ask this question. It's like, did your dad like you? I mean, I don't know. He died when I was 14, man. But if he didn't, fuck him. You know, he's dead. If he did, yay, I love him. Was it because he was a giant? No, he was good. He's from fucking around. He's a good dad. My no, aunt I mean, sees this. My aunt sees this. She's going to drive down from Arkansas and fucking kill me. We, uh, what's your mom's name? Uh, my mom? Mm-hmm. Tammy. Tammy. Oh, that's disclaimer. real. Tammy disclaimer. We have a Janice disclaimer. Yeah. So we got a Tammy. My mom watches every episode. So I say hi to Janice. Yeah. So, but yeah. <laughs> Janice. Oh. Tammy. Oh, I said my aunt. My aunt's in Arkansas. And my aunt's Tammy. the one that'd be mad about my dad. Where does she oh. live in Arkansas? My mom is on too many Xanax to give a shit. Oh, man. It's like time traveling. I used to eat a lot of Xanax. I used to do the Pepsi Challenge. You know about this? No. Pepsi Challenge is where you smoke a bunch of meth and eat a handful of Xanax and just see what happens. It's cool. I don't do it anymore. I feel like that's all it took for you to do that in the first place. Was so somebody to look at you and be like, <laughs> it's cool. 
And you're like, it's cool. And they're like, it's cool. Yeah. And you're like, give me that meth and Xanax. Yeah. Like, it didn't take much to get you there. Dude, my eyes are sweating again. Oh, He's crying. Oh. Yeah. I like oh, how you good. instantly <laughs> deciphered. Yeah. You're like, let's not, let me translate. <laughs> He's crying. He's crying. Well, Mason has a few catchphrases and stories that he tends oh. to stick by on the yeah. show, so... He's running. It's part of the show. He's running okay. On. Oh, I didn't change shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Damn it. Works. What am I? <laughs> hey, are you Harry? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Here we go. You're calling out the hits. Oh, you got the main too. Look at that. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. Harry as fucked, dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Is your back hairy or just the front? No, just the front. Yeah. I wish that was the case for me. I'm literally hairy from the eyebrows down. Any more as we... (laughs) (sighs) Hey, do you have a favorite kid? That's a tough question because it's true. You do have a favorite. (laughs) Yeah, because you can't help it. It is. I know, but I I know one of them's going to see this one day. Okay. I didn't ask. For I one. hope I my podcast. If you had one. I've got I've got favorites for different shit. Yeah, you uh-huh. know what I mean. It's like I'm I'm not just a I'm not a dude who just works on the car. That's mm-hmm. not who the fuck I am. Oh. But like I got a favorite for like um like watching movies. My oldest is my favorite to watch movies with because she doesn't talk. She doesn't talk and she just loves movies. You yeah, know? she just nice. she's down to fucking chill. Um, my middle child is my favorite to like. I don't know. Just gotta go buy shit because she's fun to shop she gets excited about fucking everything yeah, yeah she's the middle child yeah and and, <laughs> and my son's like everything else yeah everything he's, he's a blast with everything else like sports uh video games any of that yeah. shit hospital yeah. visits do you hospital uh, visits. do you have a video game system yeah xbox uh, do you uh do you guys uh play against each other oh yeah shit? all the time is he good at it no i mean he he likes it but he's man there, it's unfair to them. You know what I mean? Like they don't understand. I had the it had NES dog. I had an Atari. Yeah, well, that's yeah. what I was. Gonna I've say. spent my yeah. entire life. Yeah, just, from the time I was fucking three years old on a game system. Right. And we're talking about thirty five years now that games have been prevalent in society, especially yeah. video games. Yeah, right. My entire lifespan. Yeah. So they get dunked on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I fuck you don't them let up. Them, you don't let them win ever. Hell no. Yeah, when I moved out here. You're like, life's tough, bitch. Hell no. (laughs) When, when you get muscular dexterity and those fucking fingertips. When, when you fucking get tough. Um, (laughs) Yeah, when I moved out here, I left my Xbox back home and then just just a couple days ago, I went and bought myself a PS5. So I'm super stoked. Did you raise up the mic to (laughs) burp? He did. (laughs) Yeah, that's. that's, It's part of the show, is burp again to the mic. Yeah, if you got a burp, let it rip. I accidentally turned my head a second ago. I, don't I know feel why. like I'm playing a game and we're just making up the rules <laughs> as we're going along. They're like, oh no, actually, Parcheesi, you get to draw two. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the poker rule. Yeah. The Parcheesi rule. That is true. Uh, the fuck? You got to burp uh, into the mic. You don't, got, you don't got to, but it just... Also, he, puns he are it. accepted. Yeah, he loves puns. Love a good pun. Is... <laughs> This is just to amuse you. This whole podcast is what I, just to amuse Mason. Okay. I'm figuring it out. I'm, hey, let's do a segment. Okay. Do the, we'll cue it up. Oh. Okay. Yep, see? You're right. 100%. Uh-oh. I gotta find it. There it is. Get one in. I'm okay. Jail tales. Okay. You said you had some stories. I mean, I can't wait to hear it. I got lots of stories about the police. Let's uh-huh. hear. Let's hear some funny ones. <laughs> I was like, I was in an at-risk team facility as a kid. I was like in a juvenile delinquent. I was like, I lived outside. <laughs> tents. For, yeah, in tent, it's called Eckerd Youth Alternatives, and uh, I was in there because I was a status offender, not because I was a juvenile delinquent. What's a status offender? A status offender is somebody that breaks the laws within the confines of the home. You're not breaking laws that outside the home or anything. You're just breaking the laws within the home. Like stealing money from your mom or something? Essentially, shit like that. But it wasn't even like that. For me, it was just disobedience. Right. Okay. It was like I didn't want to go spend 12 hours a day on a fucking tobacco farm. Yeah. So I was just like, fuck you, and sat under a shade tree. Why weren't you in school? Yeah, my parents threatened to do, take me to like Valley Teen Ranch, stuff yeah. like that, for just like being a fucking... Oh, I didn't eat Valley family. Teen Ranch, dog. I was a step kid on, to- on a tobacco farm. Yeah. I was an indentured servant, homie. Yeah. But why weren't you in school? 
Um, I was, but, but as soon as we got out of school, it was tobacco. And then, then summertime. Then summertime, it was all tobacco. All summer. Were you sm- Did you smoke? <laughs> Were I you mean, smoking as a kid? My fingers did. Uh, I was fucking... T- oh, it can fuck you. Oh, yeah, it can get in your... Uh, Absolutely, your dog. Oh, okay. Absorbed into the skin. Yep. The tobacco gum. All that shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. I worked on a weed farm, and you would, uh, would finger hash, we called it. Yeah. You could Same shit. It. Yeah. Um, well, you couldn't, you wouldn't want to smoke this. Yeah, ugh. Yeah, I don't, I don't like cigarettes. Um, but yeah, I was, uh, let's see, how long was I there? 13 months, one week, and four days. God damn. Yeah. It was, and it's, uh, you don't leave. Nah, you don't leave at all. Um. We did have we had a river we had a river trip and there was a lot it's like kind of like Boy Scout focus where you had to do like outside <laughs> shit we built our own tents. Fucking cry, baby. You okay? I felt that. I'm sure you did. Okay. Anyway. Sorry. No, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, before you continue about being on the farm, what were some of the things you think that you did to get put there, like the, at the house? Um, you ever burn stuff? No, man. I had two parents on Oxycontin, dog. All they fucking wanted was the kids to be gone and the drugs to keep flowing. Okay. Yeah. They, they were prescribed, doc. I bet, too. Yeah, they were disabled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And I mean, they were on Oxycontin. Yeah. <laughs> they were fucking, man, that dude didn't do anything but lay in that chair and watch the History Channel. High as a kite. High as a motherfucking kite. Watching and then ancient he, aliens. Yeah, he got into a fucking weird-ass model plane thing. For a while, like uh, German World War II replica planes. So you're describing my stepdad, like 100 percent to the T. <laughs> he was just minus the pills. Yeah, he it was. was he well, was, actually, towards the end, it was Vicodin. I, I mean, love, he, I love they were on all of them. Yeah. yeah, I mean, for my mom, it was Valium for sure. Oh, Valium's fun. Yeah, Valium make you forget a Tuesday yeah. real quick. Yeah, yeah. I knew a disabled lady that my, was my friend's mom, and she gave me my first Valium. Mm. Wow. It was free. Shout out! Why'd she give it to you? Uh, cause she was fucked up and was like, you want one? And I was like, sure. Do you think, did you think anything was going to happen? No, she was ugly. Oh. <laughs> but... <laughs> I bet you forgot that Tuesday, so who knows what you did. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. She died. Okay. Real sad. <laughs> this story is making huge jumps between action. You know what I mean? Like... I feel like we've covered this entire woman's life in eight words. <laughs> we did do that. She's oh, she also spent time in prison for embezzling money. Okay. Oh, now, now, the, now like a prequel. Yeah, it's I'm, it's no. real M. Not Shyamalan. It's too bad. It's too bad that she's dead. We could have her on to do this fucking <laughs> segment that I can't get through. Oh man, go go go! go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is Mason, a status offender. Yeah. Breaks the laws inside the house, right? Mm-hmm. Did I get to that? And you're on the farm. Yeah, I mean, I just didn't want to work. <laughs> yeah, I don't like working. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I went from a single mom that left my my set, my first or second stepdad, where the fuck he was, and then uh, we moved out to this dude, and he was like, labor. You know, like, it wasn't, hey, look at these kids. I uh, fucking love them. It was, hey, watch me wake the, make these motherfuckers work. More hands. Yeah, I show with Mexican immigrants all day. Yeah. Like, it's all I did was hang out with fucking Juan and Antonio and him. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, we all hated my stepdad the same. We all fucking hated that dude. Yeah. So we just chilled, kicked it. Um, but that's where I got in trouble was I think I was drinking with them and, like, fucking around always in the Mexican trailer. Yeah. Always. Always in the Mexican trailer. <laughs> oh, it was like, like that. They had uh, quarters for them to live yeah, in. Yeah, like, oh, on the farm. wow. So I was always down to the Mexican trailer fucking around. That was the good, the fun trailer. Hell yeah. And um, occasionally, like my stepdad, he'd fuck me up. And uh, they would bring fucking beer and leave it at my windowsill once it got dark. That's pretty cool. Because there's nothing out there, dog. It's country, country. Like, it's pitch black. There's no lights. There's no fucking nothing. So these dudes would just walk up and put fucking Budweiser heavies on my windowsill and Hell peel yeah. out. <laughs> And they were like, fuck Randy, dog. Yeah. Oh, your did you, his name was Randy? Yeah. I, dude, I, that's the best name to talk about, like, as a oh. redneck fucking dude. You know Randy? Yeah. <laughs> fucking Randy? Yeah. T- Tammy and Randy. Tammy yeah, and Randy. Tammy and yeah. Randy. So funny. 
My, yeah. my mom's name is uh, Tina, and my stepdad's name was Darren, and my dad's name is Vince, and my stepmom's name is Karen. So they both remarried. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn. Like, yeah, I just grew up with two families. Like my <laughs> my like I my first memories was like my mom and dad, and my mom and dad. I just lived in a backpack my whole life. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like well, that's back and forth between houses. They like, lived in the same town, you know. So it's just like okay, right, family, right, you know? right. Yeah, and I had like decent. I had pretty good families on for the most part. I had an abusive stepfather. You had two good families. I said pretty good. What a flex. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> See, my my stepdad's like you guys are this, the person you're describing is my stepdad a hundred percent. I get the whole thing, but I mean like that only got like really bad like towards the end, you know, when he died and shit, but. My first time I went to jail was for beating up my stepdad. Yeah. Uh-huh. That, that's, I know a lot of people, man. That's the first time going to jail. Mm-hmm. Is, he had is, it coming. Yeah, absolutely. Most of them do. You know, in, in respect, I'll say this. I can't imagine being a stepdad's an easy fucking job. Mm-hmm. And it's not for somebody that's not emotionally intelligent. Like, if, and right. The problem is, is that most of the people that are fucking willing to do the job of being a stepdad aren't emotionally intelligent people because if they were, they wouldn't fucking do the job. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, it's this fucking double-edged sword. Yeah. So, in that respect, I, I always felt sorry for the dudes that, that me and my brother were dumped on their plate. You know, because, uh-huh. I mean, we were fucked up. My mom didn't know what the fuck she was doing. And most single moms don't. You know, there's not... There's no fucking course. There's no right. there's no help. There's no nothing. You're just you're that's the thing about humanity is we're on our fucking own. Right. And the shitty thing about being a parent in the first place is that you only get two real examples. You mm-hmm. get your mom and your dad. That's the people that teach you how to be a fucking parent. Yeah. Right. And if they're shitty, you're you got shitty. shitty instruction, you're gonna be shitty too. And it's just kind of the way it fucking shakes out. Right. Yeah, and then it also just repeats the cycle for the absolutely most, for the most always, part. and it gets worse. I mean, it spirals and it gets worse. Like you look at generational, like with you got I know thirty eight year old grandmas. Yeah, yeah, right. That's that's not a shock. Yeah, my cousin uh, had her first kid when we were still in high school. Mm. I remember she was a senior, I was a junior, and she had her first. I kid. had my third kid by the time I was twenty six. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And are and they're all by the same woman? Yeah, that's a fair question. Yeah. They are? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my, yeah. That's, that's fucking, that's crazy. <laughs> is when you, when, dude, that's, oh, I got an example. Dude, my ex-wife's brother, he's got, he's married to this lady. They have six kids together, but only two of them are his. And each one of the other ones are two by this dad and two by that dad. That's crazy. Were they twins? Uh, no, none of them are twins. No, they're not none of them are twins. So I was in the army with this dude, McGowan, and, uh, he had a twin sister in Alaska, but they had different dads, <clears throat> biologically different fathers. How Ma- that- Mama got two, she wasn't with either dad. She got two child support checks for uh, twins. So like she fucked them in like the same couple days. I'm thinking uh, it was like. I thought, is that possible? Is it, no. uh, again, double penetration. Again, that's he, what I'm thinking. That's like what I was thinking. But a, Caleb, a sperm, this kid, uh, this kid was not very through. forthcoming about the information about Bone and his mom. So we asked a lot of questions. Yeah. But I don't think he had a lot of the answers. We wanted to Facetime her. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> this woman is a modern miracle. Yeah. Like even if. The two fathers are like whatever, even if that is bullshit. What a con! Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> you know, just... to be able to get the two child support check. Yeah, this One one's yours. Child, yeah. What this a con! One, this one's yours. I feel like she was smarter than both those guys. <laughs> oh, and, she, and just... tenfold, tenfold. <laughs> tenfold yeah. It's Alaska, dude. Dude. Oh, they're different up there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to talk yeah. about a simple person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> w- women are far. Women are a little less. Uh, I have to live in Alaska, so what they're probably up? taking two dicks at a time. It's their, they got the. Well, the what's that called? No, that, that is a Eskimo thing. Brother. That is a thing. It's a uh, uh, fraternal. Tenor. No, it's poly. It's not. Uh, it's polyamory. Polyamorous is when you got multiple. No, but there's uh, another one. The, the, but there's there's another one where it's two women, one dude. It's really common in Tibet. Um, I'm trying to think. It's polyogamy, maybe I can't remember. But I've all, I've always thought it was interesting. It's really common in Tibet where there's two husbands and one wife, mm. and uh, I just thought it was so funny because every picture I ever saw, both dudes looked pissed. Yeah. 
Every single one of them. I never saw a single picture of that family in Tibet, of a family in Tibet where it was two dudes, one woman. The dude did not look. Both guys were like, listen, neither one of us fucked this bitch. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. And like, she gets two headaches every night. We're fucked. You know, like, there's there's nothing we can do. Where is Tibet? Is that is that in... Uh... Himalayans. Where is Himalayans? Yeah, free it. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. It's in Nepal. Is that Japan? Nepal. No, not Nepal. Nepal. But Asia. I'm yeah. Nepal, but I didn't know the answer to that. That's not terrible. Huh? Huh? Not a bad pun. No. <laughs> yes. It's still got crickets. Not, not a bad pun. <laughs> it's still got crickets. Well, so did you ever, uh, when you got old, after the tobacco, so you killed your stepdad, what? you left the tobacco. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Nah, didn't murder Randy, Dyke. <laughs> didn't murder Randy. <laughs> didn't murder Randy. Is Randy still alive? Uh, dude, I, so I went probably a year and a half ago. I rented a car and it was at a wedding in Charlotte. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to drive up there. And so I drove up. I was going to see my godmother and shit. And I went to the farm. And this motherfucker got a new trailer. Like, we lived in this shitty-ass shack, right? And then I'm driving down the road. And I'm looking and I'm like, this bitch-ass dude. And this trailer's nice. Yeah. It it's double got wide? like red trim, double wide. And I think it's a single wide, but still, it's like still nice. It's like top of the line. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a Nissan Sentra with all the bells and whistles. Right. They make, right. Them, they make them well. So, some of them are pretty nice. But yeah. at the same time, I'm looking at that shit and I'm like, fuck this dude. Yeah. And I'm like, we lit. My floor was falling through, man. I had to balance myself on the bed at night. To make oh sure I didn't fucking, because if you lean too far to the like the left corner, that fucking leg's gonna go into the hole, oh. and then that's a different kind of panic, man. Because you're, <laughs> yeah, falling sensation. Hey, my so my dad, he had, uh, he lived, in, he bought a house when he before I was born, but like when my mom and him split, we left, and he stayed in that house. But he never did anything to make it better. Yeah. Because he's a sing- he's a bachelor. Yeah. And I would go there on weekends. And I remember you had to use pliers to turn the shower on and off. Vice, oh, yeah. Vice grips. Yeah, vice grips. Yeah. Yeah, vice Just, grips. Yeah, you had, that was the but, only way. Hey, man, that's, that, that is a, did you grow that's up, a country boy's Did you grow uh, up on well water? Uh, no, my grandma yeah. had well water. And so then, we had well and water. I, I remember when it became not well water. The, that was the craziest thing is like, because the only way you could really tell if the, the, the fucking, there was something in the wells at the water tank. Yeah. So you had to smell the water a lot of the times, or if it was yellow. Uh, and yeah, then, yeah. then you would have to go take a fucking bucket with holes in it. Like you have to drill holes in that bucket, put a rock in it, lower it down with a rock into the well so that it sank down below whatever the fuck was floating up there. Uh, and then you had to pull it up. I've pulled gophers, squirrels, fucking oh, chipmunks, really? skunks. I mean, you name it. I've pulled them out of a well. Oh, see, mine was like a propane well. Like, no, this was like it was like, <laughs> yeah, it was like was, a well. I was, I was about to say my when I said you, my grandma had well water, it wasn't well like like really that you could go. You see. mean a well? Oh no, this oh, a, I that's mean like no, a well. No, I, no, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't no, have no, that. That's that's no, that's wow. wild. Yeah, I mean, they had a pump. You know what I mean? Like it ran in the house. Yeah, but you could go see the well. But yeah, you yeah, we didn't know. It was a well house. Uh, yeah, well house. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then, like, you had to go next to it. I remember always there was a huge red uh, hornet nest that formed every year. So you was like, if something got in a well, there was a five step process to getting into the well. Uh, like you had to fucking go get the uh, the spray out of the, out of the thing. You had to spray the gas on the hornets. Hope you didn't yeah. get stung by one of them motherfuckers because they can kill you. And they sting more than once too. Oh yeah, and they're fucking vicious. Yeah. So you had to stand back far enough to get them. Wait for that to happen. Then clear the nest. Move the nest. Move the stuff around the well. Lift up the well. The the fucking thing on the well house. Prop Terrible. that up. Climb in. Move all the fucking screen that whatever fucking critter crawled through there and fucking drowned. Drowned in, in, in their orgy. Whatever the fuck they were doing. Yeah. Um. <laughs> A little squirrel fuck fest going on in a well house. And yeah, and then you got to fucking pull them out. And it's never what went in there. It's never the furry little lo- lovely critter that went in there. It's uh-huh. always fucking, ugh. Yeah. That's gross. I, I, dude, I, my, one of my first days at Vulcan, I had to pick up a dead squirrel from the alley. I said, I'll do it. They were like, I bet you will. Because I'm from Arkansas. <laughs> I always wait for there to be more, more from the story. For me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you say something, and I'm like, okay. It stunk. Okay, and then you're like, that's it. And I'm just like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Gnarly. <laughs> uh, so, 
Hey, did you, uh, so when you got older though, did you go to jail, jail? Um, yeah, I did. Uh, I got arrested in, uh, I got arrested in New Cumberland, West Virginia for possession of marijuana. I was in the delayed mm-hmm. entry program for the Air Force and I had just dropped off the only mixed girl in the whole neighborhood, man. I was going to a school that was population of 350, 400 kids, high school, one mixed person in the whole school. Not even full black. I mean, this was my third high school my senior year. And not even full black. One mixed chick. Yeah. Natasha. Uh-huh. And I was dropping her off from smoking blunt in the hood uh, over in East Liverpool, Ohio. And it was a hood with the whites? No, this was over across the river. Oh, okay. This was like a minute away. Okay. I went to like three high schools my senior year. Uh-huh. And my last one was East Liverpool, Ohio, where I found an abandoned house. That's a whole different story. And you lived in it? No, I used that as my address. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So that you could go to that school? Yeah. Because they were going to make me go to another school uh, for another year in West Virginia or something. Okay. Yeah, stupid. So anyway, um, I had a headlight out, and Officer Scott Atkins, I'll never forget him, he pulled me over, and he uh, he's like, hey, man, uh, your car smells like marijuana. I was like, yeah, it'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. I was like, it has the tendency sometimes, man. This car is a hardcore smoker, Scott. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and he's like, well, I'm going to need to get out and search the car. And I'm like, cool, because there ain't nothing in the car. Everything uh, everything that's in the car has been smoked. Yeah, I smoked it all. It's, it's all gone. Say, I already smoked it. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's been smoked. Um, But Natasha's big ass couldn't fit in the front seat. Oh, she was fat? Oh, she's a big girl. <laughs> um, She couldn't fit in the front seat, so she rolled the weed in the back seat. And this bitch was clumsy because she had like the, the sausage fingers, and uh, but she was like my only friend in the whole in the whole area, dude. She was like the only friend I had, and uh, she, anyway, her little sausage fingers. I guess she missed weed and she dumped some out in the back seat. Oh, you got arrested for floor weed. I and they, they scraped up with the credit card. Oh, and it was just enough to test, and uh, yeah, I, I got taken to jail, and uh, I remember having to call Tammy. <laughs> it's like, here's the thing Tammy tried to act ashamed but she knew yeah she's on Oxycontin dude like my mama would always do my mama would act brand new every fucking day like every day That's man it was like personality disorder I think yeah I would say that I think it's called Xanax yeah and she just every day was a new day for Tammy and like <laughs> M- Monday Tammy was not Sunday Tammy. Oh, I think that's it, so uh, funny. Sunday Tammy passed out with two Zimas in each hand. Oh, Zimas were big. <laughs> yeah, my mom, my mom, my mom drank those. Yeah, that, dude. Yeah, but an empty half bottle of Valium, and she's just fucking partying. Couple of Xanaxes and a Zima. <laughs> it's a good time. <laughs> yeah, man. She, uh... <laughs> well, did she come get you, or did she leave you? So her and my fourth stepdad came, um... I'm trying to remember. I love it. Well, my fourth stepdad. <laughs> That's a lot. It's funny. That uh, is, yeah. I'm sure I almost broke. Really? We're good. We're good. The pen came out. We're solid. Sorry. Sean Penn. That's okay. Sean Penn, you don't work. <laughs> I think the podcast should be called Easily Amused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, That's true. Like, I, was, I was easily abused as a child. That's an even better name, easily abused. <laughs> <laughs> so, t- <laughs> so Tammy came and got you. Yeah, it got me out of jail. Um, but I've I've been arrested like three or four times. Yeah, always weed. Yeah, and, well, because always. if you're bef- below the Mason Dixon, it's a big deal apparently. Yeah. And I'm I'm not a violent person. I don't like to drink. I just like to smoke weed. Yeah, that was it. You know? Yeah, it's crazy. I know. And then they pull over a drunk person, well, back then, and they'd be like, just sleep it off. I had three DWIs. I got one when I was 18, 19, and 20. If weed hadn't been illegal, I probably wouldn't have broken more than like two or three laws my entire life. Right. Mm-hmm. Isn't that crazy to think about? Because weed is legal, <laughs> the the things you have to do to get it and Absolutely. Get it, it just adds to Absolutely, yeah. It adds to the illegality of it. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I guess Austin, it's what decriminalized. Because yeah. Texas, if you oh, go I'll to tell Florida, you what, I know it's decriminalized. Because the second my ass gets across Travis County, when I'm driving back from Phoenix with a load, yeah, that's yep. when it, yeah, I yeah, know button it up. Yep, uh, Arkansas was the first state uh, in the South to have medical. We got it in 2016. Yeah, and I remember, uh, but Arkansas does their own fucking thing. So I've, I've, I've been like in California. Like since well, that's, 2005. Like if there's a southern meeting, doctoral. if there's a meeting of all the states in the south, Arkansas is an outside doing bong ribs and fucking keg stands. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? We got a lot of moonshine too. Yeah, they're not fucking, they're not at that meeting. Yeah. It's kind of like the way Spear and Allegiant are at the south terminal. Yeah. You know, you're, yeah, you're at the airport, but are you? <laughs> that's the way Arkansas is with the south. Like, is it the south? It we'll, is. We'll include you, but yeah. that's because you're fucking white trash. Yeah. <laughs> You're just enough white trash to be not Midwest. That That's why. I can't tell you how many. So I lived in Boston for eight years. I, don't, I was a welder for 11. I don't know if you know that. And uh, in Arkansas, uh, I remember when I moved to Boston, they would all say, oh, Arkansas, where is that? That's Midwest. And I would always get offended. I'd be like, it was the farthest Western state in the Confederacy. It's the South. They sound like me. But maybe a little more. When you say that, it's like almost like you're making their point. It's the farthest west. <laughs> He's like, listen, this is as far as the Confederacy went. It went to us, yeah. and then it just didn't go past us. Because <laughs> we put a stop to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Is that what it's not what happened? <laughs> we were Abraham Lincoln's Arkansas from Arkansas. Was, I don't know if you know f- that. What? Yeah. He lived in Illinois, I know, but is he from Arkansas? Uh, no. I'm making it up. He's not from Arkansas. <laughs> okay. Bill Clinton is. Yeah, he yeah, is. He's hot spray. <laughs> hot spray. Yeah, he hey, Johnny Cash, too. Evanescence, you know? The whole band? Yeah. I don't know about the whole band, but, I'm but they are from Little that. Rock. That's where they made it big. Uh, the blowjob president's the president you get, okay? Yeah. You, you don't uh, get the guy that fed oh, the slaves. I got one for you. Uh, I went and smoked meth in this old mansion in Hot Springs where he's from. And Billy Bob Thornton is from the area. And the lady that was the madam of the strip club that she owned uh, with all the little stripper tweakers running around, she used to fuck Billy Bob Thornton. (laughs) And I did meth with her. Anything else? She had a lot of old newspapers. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I was just... I oh, it's where, it's I where was I, hopeful. It's I got it. I got it. I remember. It's where I did my. Uh, I did a hot rail, and I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. That was the biggest hot rail I ever did. I was up for thirty two hours, off one hot rail. Do you know what that is? I'm. I'm. I can use my imagination. <laughs> it's where you uh, heat up a straight glass pipe till it's red hot, and then you snort a line of meth and you blow smoke out, and it gets you fucking high as shit. Okay, Bubba. <laughs> Your face is so concerned and just so perplexed. I'm so... I don't do it anymore. Tell me about Arkansas. I think that's kind of all you need to know. <laughs> I don't know. You guys just inventing ways to do drugs out there because you're bored? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I mean, we invented the Pepsi Challenge. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> what about butt chuck? Is that you guys? No, that's Michigan. Oh, damn it. I love how you know. <laughs> I love how he knows. That's how they stay warm. <laughs> That's where he learned it. <laughs> uh, no, I did. I went to Electric Forest twice in Michigan. Hold on. Is that a place you go when you butt chug NyQuil? It's a music festival. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. He's yeah, like, yo, I, yeah. you butt chug NyQuil, Doc, and you go to the Electric Forest. <laughs> <laughs> and life just lights up for you, man. You feel charged. It only costs. Uh, Nick Corey, could I trouble you for some more Miller Lite, please? Yeah. Thank Thanks, you. buddy. But, Would you uh, mind grabbing me another one? Yes, so, did you ever do any hard drugs or just always weed? No, pills. Uh, okay. Yeah. Taken after Tammy and Randy. Oh, yeah, dude. The army was throwing shit oh, down I, my I throat. Kept, I kept wanting to ask you about. So, you, were you in the Air Force or Army? Army. Do you have any fun stories from being in the army? Like, did you ever get court martialed? No, but I do know of one that was pretty crazy. This chick in um in Korea had accused these three dudes, uh, excuse me, four dudes of 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 the R word. 
you know, uh, the squirker squirker. So we can bleep um, it if you want to say it. Forceful that. They it's okay. I, I, you know, I don't want to mess up your YouTube algorithm. We have a whoosh. Oh, cool. Yeah, I said grape. Oh, yeah, grape. Yeah, she was graped. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> it was a brutal graping. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I heard she whined uh, and moaned. <laughs> I had to do this it. This is all worse, I think, than saying the word. <laughs> I had to do it. Okay, so yeah, it was a brutal graping. And uh, I just got that you said wind. Yeah. Like, because. Yeah, you got that? Okay. <laughs> I thought you liked puns. I, I know. I, he said, like, oh, hey, I like puns. I like puns. I threw one at him. And it took, it, takes him three it takes him three minutes to fucking figure the fuck out. That was good. All right. Um, the Punisher meets the worthy adversary. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got it immediately, but you immediately stepped over it. Like, you're just like, then he was like, this is terrible. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what the fuck are we talking about? Uh, the lady uh, that grapes. got graped. Okay, yeah, she got graped, and she accused four dudes of the graping. And they were basically at court martial, ready to go to fucking, ready to go to prison. And... From what I understand from the court case is that the evidence was admiss- admitted last minute was the motor pool video. And it was this woman, very willing participant in oh, these activities. Oh, she was like laughing and giggling. It wasn't enjoy. just laughing and giggling. It was fuck me, daddy. It was like, wow. it was very, 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 you know. I feel like that's the case a lot. You know it, what I mean? It, it was not, it, it, let's just say it was not a forced grape. Yeah. You know, it, it was, was a welcomed. very, it was a very willing graping. Yeah. Uh Borderline consensual. Yeah, borderline. <laughs> it was a train. Uh, it's a, yeah, choo choo. And uh, <laughs> she ended up. They switched the case right there, and, and did she get- and tried her. Wow, good for uh, for perjury. Yeah, justice. And she went to military prison. That's good. Crazy, I was like, damn, I've never I've never heard of justice like this. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. <sighs> What uh were you uh did you join the army to as a so I have a few friends that joined the army because it was either army or prison did you was that your case or you nah. joined because you needed structure and something to do no, I joined because my eighteen year old wife cheated on me with my best friend's dad wow. and um I went back to Tammy in West Virginia where she was living and I was like hey I need a place to stay and she's like cool I'm gonna take you to the recruiter's office. Oh, no shit. Were you 18 also? Yeah. Yeah. And she's like, a recruiter's office. And I'm like, but I could do student loans and just go to school and stay here. She goes, nah. Uh, she's like, no. She goes, nah, you're going you gonna to join the Army. And I was like, okay. Your so, 18-year-old wife. So, yeah, dude. She was pregnant. How many times have you been married? Three times, two women. Ah, you did one of them you did twice? Yeah. Mason's been trying to do that. <laughs> I don't want to get remarried, but I'll give her a kid. You'd be surprised what you do when army benefits are on the fucking table. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Well, she doesn't <laughs> make some dumbass decisions. She doesn't want comedy benefits. Yeah. She hates that. Yeah. Uh, what so, benefits? Are you, yeah, exactly. I'm still looking for them nine years <laughs> yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. I got to be um, up at fucking 4 a.m. to go catch a flight to do fucking shows tomorrow night. Where are you going? You want to plug them? St. Louis with uh, Jay. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah at, what, what, is that a Zanies? What's the St. Louis uh, one? No, Helium. It's a Helium. Cool. Very cool. Uh, dude, I got to tell you, I meant, I meant to bring this up on the last episode. Uh, I went and did the fucking Cap City open mic. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. It's like a real show. Cool, man. There's nice. people there. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. That's what's up. So much fun, dude. Have you got to perform there yet at Cap City? Yeah, I did it with Jay. I featured there uh, in fucking... December. Beautiful club. It's a good club. Yeah, so it's nice. Really nice club. Um, the Red got, Room's nice too. I, so, yeah, I haven't been up there yet. Uh, have you got to go to uh, Laugh Boston with Jay too? Tobin's room. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think I've passed through, but I haven't worked it yet. No. There's also Roar out in uh, this yeah, casino in Springfield. Yeah. That one. It, it doesn't look very nice. That one. <laughs> Uh, hey, let's talk shit on it. That, no, 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 no. I, I mean, I would just be happy to be there. A room, but, a room's what you make of it. Yeah, exactly. It just that one looks like an office building from the pictures. Perfect I've seen. example is Darius Bennett, dude. I did a fucking shitty open mic with him for some. When I first moved here, it's three people in the room, and uh, there was like maybe fifteen, twenty outside. When that dude got on stage, 
there was three people. When he got off stage, there was 25. That's awesome. So it's like you you can truly turn it. You just have to believe. Right. You just have yeah, to go up and right. do your fucking thing. Right. Flawlessly. Yeah, uh, it is weird when, uh, well, well, it's like I never like get mad at open mics. Like I know some people that are like, oh, I'm just going to leave. It's like, ah, I mean, we're already here. We're signed up. I don't know. Why wouldn't you just go ahead and go on? Like, who cares? Um, I think there's a certain amount of, like, you know, when you've been doing it long enough, you know what needs to be there for you to work on what you need to work on. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm not going to... If, if I get a little bit of a pop for three people, I'll try it for 300, you know? Yeah. <coughs> but it's hard to tell, man. It's right. It's difficult. And it's, it's about what you... If you believe it's funny and it's well-structured and it's what it needs to be, then... You know, sometimes you don't need the mic. Sometimes, uh, first, I did a joke. Of, it's on my fucking Instagram about uh, rescue dogs. How you can't rescue a dog if you live in a trailer park. Yeah. Um, Because that's not a rescue. It's just relocation. Uh, <laughs> I did that joke for the first time in front of fucking 4,000 people. Wow. In the celebrity theater. First time I ever did that joke. And it I wrote them. it on the way there. Yeah. yeah. And it was just one of those, I was like. I love doing jokes. I sold out. Uh, see, I just wild. now started to get to do that. Like getting booked enough that I could, because for the longest time it's like, oh, I'm gonna do all my like, a shit. Yeah. And now I'm finally there's like enough shows that I can like, all right, this one's kind of like low pressure. Let me go ahead and do something new, and see how it goes in front of real people. Well, this event was for the Humane Society. Yeah. Oh. That- <laughs> yeah. And it was it was the right before because I opened for Callan, Delia, uh, no, Callan, Adam Ray, and Frank Caliendo. Cool. And it was right before the shit came out about Dalia and yeah. Callan. I mean, we're talking about maybe two months before. It was 2019. So, I mean, I'm in, in the green room and stuff with Dalia, and then literally two months later, dude, fucking. Like, oh, he's a weirdo. Pariah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, is Frank Caliendo the guy that does the Madden impression? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. And John Gruden. Yeah, yeah, he does just, yeah. Well, he had to kill the John Gruden impression. Yeah. Why? Who's that? I don't even know who's that. John Gruden? Mm-hmm. He's Chucky, man. You don't you don't know who John Gruden is? Chucky, the little doll that kills people. No, the, um, football coach, football probably. Coach. Oh, coach, I don't like sports. He coached Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Oakland Raiders. Went back to the Raiders and they moved to Vegas. Then he got fired year before last for yeah. uh, racism. Oh, oh yeah, with the emails. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is he also the guy that wouldn't let his wife take pictures with the players? Is that that same guy? I don't know. I don't know about that part. But it's possible. I don't know. I don't know sports or news. Racist kind of racism. That's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. What are you into? What is your thing? Well, I grew up racing motocross. Okay. So you still watch motocross? Uh, I do. Yeah, I watch uh, YouTube clips. And uh, okay. I'm big into still keeping up with X Games and uh, the freestyle motocross. They're doing wild shit. I just watched a really cool documentary on YouTube about Brian Deegan. Okay. Which was very... Do you, you know who that is? Yeah. It was so cool because, like, when he got f- popular, it was when I first started racing motocross. So I like watched his whole rise to the metal militia and all that shit. But uh, yeah, pretty much it's just kind of like comedy and podcasts. I like move. I love movies. What's your favorite movie? And don't say Waterworld. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love any Quentin Tarantino films. Okay. Yeah, I loved. Uh, I saw you, Django in the theater like three times. Favorite movie? I'm with you on Django. Soundtrack of that movie is crazy. It's cool. It'd have to be like between Fight Club and Tombstone. Oh, oh both great movies. My dad both showed me Tombstone movies. when I was like nine years old. Yeah, my dad. Both man I, was, movies. I watched Tombstone with my stepdad like thousands of times. Whenever what if I fucked y'all up? It was like my favorite movie is 16 Candles. That'd be great. I mean, I've that's like a it. classic 80s film. I've never seen it. No, it's like. Uh, but there is something to say that. Why are we so manly? Because we're cool. You know what I mean? Like, I would tell people for the longest time my favorite movie was Roadhouse. Yeah. And I uh-huh. I don't give a shit about Roadhouse. Yeah, that's not yeah. that great. I do yeah. love the scene where he fucks that chick in the barn. I I, I like this. The, 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 here's the thing. That scene. <laughs> first off, don't sleep on that scene. It's that scene good. is one of the greatest sex scenes in the history of it's movies. It's so good. <laughs> it, is, it is fucking incredible. Patrick Swayze gives you a blueprint. 
on how the fuck it's done. Yeah. Okay, he walks up there perfectly quaffed hair. Remember, there's no AC in this motherfucking joint, yeah, okay? He He's relying on God's cool breeze to cool down that pussy. That's it, okay? So he knows you can't let that permeate, dog. Yeah. You can't let that set up in that hot-ass attic. You got to get on that. You got to make that sweat have a motherfucking purpose, okay? So he goes to the... I know this scene better than anything I know in my entire life, okay? okay. He goes to the fucking jukebox or to his little radio about this big. He turns it. Rock music. Nah. Looks at her, goes, nah. Not right. <laughs> Clicks it again. Something else. Some country, old western. Nah, that's not it either. And then, boom. Otis Redding. Yeah. These arms of mine. How's it go? I'm not singing it, but you know. It's like, <laughs> these, these arms of mine, they're getting lonely. Lonely from loving you. And it's just, boom, the perfect, most manly fucking song. And this dude does not fucking, he doesn't sidestep. He doesn't go lean against the wall and talk to her. This motherfucker looks like a lion hunting a goddamn gazelle. And he walks across, fucking breeze blowing the fucking quaffed ass hair, eye contact the whole motherfucking time. Grabs that bitch's dress, puts her up against the motherfucking wall, and shows her who daddy is. It's the best. It is one of the greatest <laughs> the fucking best. sex scenes, just in the essence of not wasting a single motherfucking second. You get the music, you do the thing, and you make it happen. Hell yeah. God bless Swayze. Dude, nice. fucking A. Hell yeah. Let's fucking cheers to that. Cheers Roadhouse. To that. Roadhouse. <laughs> hey, well, it didn't also, work for like me the, when I, I tried to I'd fuck to my ex wife just The other guys now. are really good. The other uh, guys? Oh, yeah, that's it's probably not my bad. favorite comedy. Like those three oh, movies. Oh, with Ryan Gosling. Like, no, with. Uh, no, no, Will Ferrell. Oh, I'm Mark, thinking Mark of Wilbur. the nice guys. Yeah, I could just watch those three movies over and over again. I'm with you on the other guys. I've, about, I've probably watched it over 100 times. Yeah. What so. about Forrest Gump? It's a classic. I mean, it, it's, it's so hard to watch because if you grew up with like mama issues. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was raised by a Jenny, dog. Like, yeah. there's yeah. there's no <laughs> doubt. Uh, like, oh, Tammy, just... Tammy was a Jenny. Uh huh. She just didn't get the AIDS. Yeah, right. Uh, she, missed, <laughs> she missed the AIDS. She did all the Jenny shit. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck black dudes in the 70s, fucking Mark, whatever the fuck it may be. Tammy got it in. But I, I, I got one that I can watch. Just I got two, actually. Step Brothers and 40-Year-Old Virgin. Those are good. Those okay. movies, fucking, those, you can laugh. You still know, you know. Uh, I put Waterboy on when we had Thanksgiving here. That's the yeah. way you say it, man. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> Waterboy. 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 <laughs> I've never heard it say like that. You say it like they're picking on Bobby Boucher. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kevin. Waterboy. <laughs> hey, Waterboy. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what you're doing. You're doing that. It's so funny, man. It's like, and you're not meaning to do the bit. That's what makes it so great. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. You yeah. were watching Waterboy. <laughs> My tackling fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Can't oh, do anything man. Like <laughs> Okay. Well, oh. this is so fun. <laughs> I don't even want to stop. Uh, pizza's getting cold. We'll do plugs. Fucking John Carden. Wait, you got... Uh, you, this is actually coming out like tomorrow. Okay. So if you want to plug, uh, yeah, I'm with, I'm with Jay this weekend uh, at Helium, and then uh, March 16th uh, that weekend I'm in Louisville, and then I'm going to be in New York for a week, and then I'll be in Rochester that next weekend in March with uh, with Jay. Cool. And so, uh, yeah. for, if you don't know, he's talking about Big Jay Okerson. Oh yeah, Big Jay Okerson. I forget, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Whole, Get your tickets yeah. at whatever his website. He's yeah, BigJayOkerson dot com. Yeah. Right. There you go. That's it. Check out Absurd Junk's YouTube and uh, come hang out at Snail Haven Shows uh, Sundays and Fridays sometimes. Check us out. <laughs> Nicholas Speglia, Nick Fitzwell on everything. Check me out. What the fuck was that? I don't know. I me? Was that? No. Oh, that was you? Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah, check me out. Everything. Nick Fitzwell. Drink coffee with Nick on YouTube. Uh, please uh, like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, The High Noon Podcast. And also, uh, June 24th, Nick's Comedy Stop, Andrew Vickers, my best friend, headlining. I'll be there featuring. Please get tickets for that. And fucking, hold on. Oh, There's I something. do have, I got one more. Go ahead. I'm headlining House of Comedy. How'd I fucking forget? Oh, sick. 
Yeah. I am Michigan or Minnesota. No, I'm fucking Phoenix. March 30th oh, uh, through April 2nd. I'm headlining fucking House of Comedy. Fuck oh, yeah. yeah. Get tickets for that, everybody. Oh, Darian Irwin is featuring. Oh, no shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Also, I'll be at Kingdom on uh, March 22nd and East Austin Comedy Club on March 22nd. If this is coming out tomorrow, I will be at um, the Creek in the Cave tomorrow for the G-Spot. I will be... What's the G-Spot? It's the drop-in show. Oh, um, oh I'm dropping gotcha. in. And then I will be at uh, Alamo Draft House on Saturday at 7 and 9. God damn it. You and Chad both got on that and I didn't. Quick round about I'm doing my plugs. Sorry. What um, the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mason. <laughs> Sorry. And then. Piece of shit. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's about it right now. Awesome. All right. Well, get tickets to House of Comedy if you're in Phoenix. Um, and look, there's a fucking bug in here. Big mosquito. God yes. damn it. John Carden, thank you for coming on. Thank Nicholas, you, Nick, Corey. You guys rule. Howdy, partner. Thanks for tuning in to High Noon with that wily coyote, Mason Smith. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe on all platforms. We'll see you next week on the Dusty Trail for more hijinks and fun.